All right, YouTube pyrotechnicians, I'm going to show you how to take a regular E-match and put a quick plug connector on it. I've got a regular E-match here, and I cut the bare wires off of there and split the legs a little bit. You can get this tool from DigiKey. I'll put links. It's called an MTA100. I don't know if you can see that on there. And this is the connector, a quick plug connector. You can buy a really expensive tool to put this together, a $300 tool. But this little cheap uh, plastic tool will do the job. Now when you first look at it, you might think the tool goes crossways like this to go across the two connections, but it doesn't. The tool goes like this. It does one, one wire at a time. You don't put it crossways. There's an open end and there's a closed end. Bring the wire from the open end toward the closed end and push it all the way into the connector and then you just take this tool with these prongs and center it right in that opening. And push. You just push down. And it'll make the connection. Now the prongs on this tool are plastic. They're not metal. Dr. Garrett. Yeah. That lady that uh, we tried to get her, her uh, set rate was high. All right. Sorry about that interruption. Anyway, I've made the one connection there. Then you just put the other wire on the other side. Put it all the way up against the, the back of the connector there. And you just take that tool with those prongs center it right in that opening and push it in there and now you've put a quick plug on an e-match that just had regular wires the tool is ridiculously overpriced. It's just a piece of plastic. It's 40 bucks from DigiKey. But that beats the hell out of $350. And by having the $40 tool and the bag of cheap connectors, you know, you can make repairs in the field if you have to. What I'm going to do is actually take these connectors and apply them to some reusable 22 gauge speaker wire and make long extension wires that are reusable so I can get my product way out away from the modules. I'll put this on one end of the wire and I'll make them about 15 feet long. You've seen my other videos about this perhaps. And then at the other end of the wire, I'll put alligator clips. And that way, if I want to, I've got these long 15 foot extensions to move product way away from the module. But yeah, you can repair a quick plug E-match. You can make a regular E-match into a quick plug E-match. And you can use these quick plugs. You know, you could put them on the ends of long scab wire, which I would never do. I like my reusable extension wires. And I'll, I'll check the continuity and make sure that that took. It takes a couple tries to get the hang of how to use this. But once you get good at it, you can make a good connection there. Okay, here's the part number for the tool. If you search on DigiKey, you want to use that part number for this tool. Don't look it up by that part number, you won't find it. Use that part number. Now for the connectors, if you're on DigiKey's website, 
that's the part number you want right there. Now the other thing, when I was showing on the first part of the video, when you use this tool, it's easiest to put the quick plug connector down on a hard surface and push straight down rather than doing it, you know, trying to do it by holding the connector with one hand and pushing the tool with the other hand. Put the connector on a hard surface and just push down. Uh, you'll get a better connection that way. Okay, here's my two E-matches that I put quick plug connectors on. I plugged them into the Cobra module into Qs 1 and 2. I've got the Cobra in test mode. Let's push the test button and see if we get continuity on Qs 1 and 2 here. Let's get down a little closer. Look at there. So for my first ever application of quick plugs that I applied with that cheap little plastic tool, it worked and I got continuity.